and then I can decide how much further I want it over. And especially get the other side going too. I love to do the genesis for the eyebrows especially. I love it for everything, but especially on something like this. Because it's very forgiving. So if you mess up, you can just use the rubber tip tool and wipe away what you need to. So when I was sculpting her, I was sure to make kind of a brow line here. That makes it a lot easier to put the eyebrows on. Because you've already been playing around with it a bit when you're sculpting, so. We're just gonna emphasize these. Let's see, I want that to stay a little higher, I think. I haven't decided on her hair color yet. She had the red. I don't know if I'm going to stick with that or not. I mean, she since she's getting a a new do. I mean, a new a new face. <laughs> Might as well change up the hair a bit too. I'm thinking. Let's see what I can find here though. I'm also going to do the lids a bit more here too. And this is a place that you can shade it more if like one's bigger than the other so it doesn't look that way so much okay what I want is a little bit finer so I'm going to reach into this glazing gel and then get back over into the brown but I just needed it thinner and to recoat my brush here This one is a little bit bigger, so I'm going to kind of de-emphasize it a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. And I'll go through and soften it again. And for that, I'm just using my chisel brush. On this side, I'm going to wipe away some of it so we see the eyelid more. On this one, I want it to be covering the eyelid a bit, which I'll probably need to do another layer or two to get that going.
Okay, so in this one, I'm trying to figure out the shape. It's not that, but now I can just kind of move those a little bit. And then I'm just gonna line through it, kind of pull these over here more. It's pretty cute. Okay, I think I'm ready to heat set her again as soon as I finish this last little corner. I do like that. I like it to kind of arch up just a little bit. So I'm gonna move this. Okay, it's being a little tricky to come off there, so I'm going to dip it in some of the gel. There we go, that's better. I think she might have a little speck of lint in her hair, too. I mean, I'm better than her skin, which is even worse. But it happens. All right. Just lightening that up a bit. I think I'll add a few more hairs after I heat set it. Okay, so I'm gonna do just a little bit around the edges of the nose. And again, a little bit at the bottom here. my brush for a second there. Okay. All right. Now just heat set her for another minute or two. So I'm just gonna do a couple more layers on her lips and blush her cheeks just a little bit more. And we shall be about there.
Just putting a little around the edges too, just to kind of help that round in a little bit more. Especially because we'll have that hat fitted better when I get to that state. Oh, she's looking so cute. I'm happy. Yay. Okay. I'm going to do her lips. I'm going to go darker. And now I'm just going to go on in deep. And then I'm going to pull up on either side here. I'm going to emphasize this top lip a little bit better. So many little hairs. Okay. I want something even darker than that. I think I might even add a little bit of that brown in there. Kind of like in the old timey antique kind of look it gives it. So here's your chance to kind of refine the shape of the lips too by where you add color. They aren't shaped how you want them to exactly, just kind of kind of fill it in with some color and just paint on the clay. Aw, oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's see. I want, I think, some of this crimson color. Okay, and now I'm going to grab a tiny bit of this light pink over here. I'm just going to give a couple highlights. There and there and right on that little tip too. Okay. All right, now to heat set her again. <laughs> 